We'll guide you through how to back up your iPhone directly to a hard drive on your Mac. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So first of all, first of all, make sure your external drive like a hard drive or SSD is connected as well as your iPhone. And then all you need to do is go and open up your finder, then go to finder in your dock and either right click on it or click on it with two fingers and click on new finder window. Then what you want to do is go into your hard drive. So mine is the Seagate one in locations. I'll go and click on it now. You need to go and create a new folder. To do that, you can just click on the three dots in the top right or go and click on file and then new folder as well. You need to name this new folder Mobile Sync. So you start that with a capital M and then a capital S as well, but in one phrase. After you've renamed it, press enter and then you can go and double click on it like so. So you've now gone and made the folder where you wished your backups now to be. And the next thing we need to do is go and open up another finder window. So once again, right click or click on it with two fingers on finder in your dock and click on new finder window. And then what you need to do is press go in the top bar of your Mac and you need to hold the option key and that will reveal library, which you need to go and click on, click on application support and then go and click on mobile sync. And this is where your backups are then put. If we go into the backup folder, you can see these different backups here. And what we need to do is either delete this folder here, or you can just move it out of this destination. So for example, I could just go move onto my desktop like so. So now you have two file explorers, which both say mobile sync, which is slightly confusing, but to go and check which is which, you just press the back button. And if you get taken back to application support, this is the mobile sync folder on your Mac. So the other one is on your hard drive. In mobile sync on your hard drive, click with two fingers and press on new folder. And then we want to go and name this backup just like so. And then what you need to do is come back to the finder, which is on your Mac. So press back and you'll be on application support. And then what we need to do is go and open up terminal. To do that, you just press on the search in the top right and type in terminal and open it up. And then what you need to do is go and start by putting LN, just a lowercase L and an N, put a space and put a dash or minus sign and S. Next, you need to go to the file explorer, which is um, on your hard drive, where you just created that backup folder. And what you need to do is we need to go and drag that in to um, terminal like so. And then what you need to do is go and drag the mobile sync folder from your Mac your main Mac into there as well. So come to application support and then go and drag it in like so. And then it should look something like this. Then all you need to do is go and press enter like so. Now what we can do is come back to the application support. And if we go into mobile sync, we'll then go and see a backup folder, but it's got this little arrow because we've gone and made this link where as soon as something goes into this backup folder here, it's automatically put onto your hard drive. So then what we can do is go and open up the finder and go on our iPhone again. If we scroll down and click on backup now, just like this, it will start going and backing up. You will need to go and do the trust on your phone. Then what we can do is go and click on this shortcut. And as you can see, it's now making uh, the backup folder. And if I go from my hard drive and go and click on the backup folder, you go and see it there. So that's it. You're now doing a direct backup to your hard drive or external drive.